Well, what do I start with, the red or the blue? Which one do I want to pick on first? I think I'll start with the blue, because this is a map of the 2016 election. And um, as you can see, the county I live in voted red mildly. Um, you can see, you know, what's what with the, what, you know. Both sides take this map and misuse it and don't understand it. Um, the red staters like to say, look, the country's red. That's true. You have a point. But the blue staters also have a point where they say, well, cows and acres and trees don't vote. You know, acres don't vote, people do. They have a point. But what you guys both don't understand is you need each other. And um, it's just silly to do this red versus blue bullshit. And I'm so tired of it. Like, I'm just, I know it's probably been going on forever before I was born. I just didn't understand it. Um, but to me, there is no such thing as a red or blue state. There is just urban versus rural. So a red state is a state where there, most people live in a rural lifestyle, and um, at least the majority, and they vote accordingly. And a blue state is like, say, California, or they say California, which I, I resent, by the way, because there's more capitalism going on in this state than like <laughs> most European countries or something. It's just that they have these policies. They're not communists. They actually started out with very libertarian values. I mean, California is a republic, for fuck's sakes, but they just gotten retarded lately. I mean, I, I get that part. Like, especially if you live like like... I have a uh, fam in this area, and they're you know, they're so resentful. They want to secede from California. I mean, there's a whole movement for it, and I understand. They want to make it a state, like a, not secede from the union, but make it a 51st state, which is an uphill battle, but I think it's neat. I, I bought a flag for it because it just looks cool. It's like a double cross, like they double crossed us. But ironically, they wanted more government. That's the funny part. They actually wanted more government because they wanted the government to fix their roads. <laughs> the roads. Yeah, isn't that funny, right? But yeah, I mean, take a state like Illinois. Look, you got Chicago. Chicago. I mean, it dominates the politics, right? So it's considered a blue state. But if you live down here, it's not a blue state. It's like it's not, dude. You know, same thing with my state. It's like you get out of Portland and Eugene, and, you know, and that's Corvallis, um, pretty much. You're in Idaho in terms of, like, the way people are, the, the values, um, you know. Uh, so if you were to have these secession things, I mean, how do you think that would work? Like, okay, when the... Like when Trump won, everybody out here was like, hey, uh, we, we should secede. And I'm like, you're deluded. And I'm like, like, what do you mean? It's a blue state. And I'm like, well, like most of the area around Portland would hate it, right? Like, what are you going to, like, they're not going to deliver your potatoes to you. You know, you think truckers are going to bring shit into the, the Portland? I mean, like, if you want to secede from their orange Jesus, I mean, you're, they're deluded. Conversely, the red staters did the same thing to me when um, 2020 hit, and I was like, dude, Trump is fucking fucking us over. And and they're like, you just need to move to a red state. Like, this idea, just move, bro. Like, okay, how do you tell, like, especially for rural people, how do you tell somebody who's got a family farm, it's got like 300 acres that, like, like I know I know someone like this. Like, they got 300 acres, the thing's worth millions of dollars. How are you going to sell it and then move to somewhere where you don't even know how to farm? Like when your family's had like several generations of, um, you know, this farm or something like, yeah, let's just move, dude. No, this is the, this, this whole thing needs to stop. Like, I hate this whole secession thing. Like if there were like something competent, uh, to get behind, I mean, yeah, show me, but you know, like the South could probably do it, you know, um, like Texas has its own power grid. Although they fucked that up, right, with the stupid solar shit. You know, Florida is powerful enough. Like, Florida could probably do it and pull it off. And and sort of the the blue state people that live there would just have to deal with it. Like, they could probably do it. But there's no way this state could do it, even though it looks like it could, right? It's so blue. No way. Um, it, like, once you get out of the urban areas, you <laughs> no. I mean, like, it's surprising that this county didn't vote red. Um, but still, like... The, I used to live like right in the mountains there, and uh, I can tell you they're very red. You know, you know, this state could probably do it on. I don't know though, but like, if they didn't have the protection of the U.S. military, Russia would probably just gulp it up. You know, that's probably true. I mean, they can. You know, they, I mean, they used to have it, right? It used to be theirs. This state could probably. You know, I feel bad for people who have, like, common sense that live in this state. Like, yeah, I'm afraid to even go there because, like, I have family members that went there and they just liked it so much they never came back to the mainland. They just never came back. Like, they just, that was it. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of afraid of that. Um, so that's why I don't really go there. But, yeah, um, 
you know, like I know blue state people that live here, um, but they're in, you know, red America, you know, they, they, you know, so it's just states like this kind of intrigue me because like in Michigan and Ohio, like, because they can kind of go either way. Like the people of, you know, Minnesota kind of too, like, um, that that's, you know, interesting. Um, but yeah, states like mine, like the West Coast states, it's like ultra liberal because the cities are just really big. They have a lot of money. They have a lot of power. And um, I mean, like all the tech comes from pretty much here, right? You know, used to be a little bit in Texas, but that was a long time ago. And that tech is powerful. But so is like, you know, that was the argument I used to have people like, they would go like, oh, well, blue states have all the money and they contribute all the taxes and red states for welfare, you know, but like, yeah, but you got to think about this, like, what is, who's providing what, like, and I realize I'm being simplistic, but when I say this, but, um, like red states have the stuff you need, blue states have the stuff you want. Like I want technology, but it's different for me, but in a general sense, you want technology, but don't need it. I mean, you don't, I mean, you just need food, water, shelter, right? The red states have that kind of stuff. Like they have the timber, they have the, the, the oil, the, you know, the, the food, you know, the, all that. And the blue states um, have Twitter. That was my joke. You know, like, you really need Twitter. You know, some people do, I guess. But, you know, getting banned from them uh, increased my productivity by like 80% or something.